It's a beautiful sunny day here in Scotland, so I've decided to take a little road trip and make the most of it. I love living in the city, but sometimes I crave the open skies and peace of the country, so today I'm heading to Glen Eagles in Perthshire, which is just over an hour away. Glen Eagles is an elegant hotel and golf resort which has been a much loved institution here since it opened in 1924. The hotel is surrounded by the most glorious countryside and sits within a valley. You can't help but feel at peace here. Although I'm not staying overnight, it is still nice to come for lunch and to relax a little. The noise of the city can be overwhelming, so I always like to recharge my batteries with little moments like these. So I'm home from Glen Eagles and whilst I was there I had a cup of tea with a shortbread biscuit which is a very traditional Scottish treat here. It's a simple thing to bake, it's just made with butter, sugar and flour, a pinch of salt so it's quite simple to do, it's just a case of being delicate with your hands and you can really make a delicious shortbread biscuit. So I thought that it's perfect for this cold winter's day, sitting by the fire with a pot of tea and a shortbread cookie. So I hope that you'll enjoy it. So let's start. I'm just going to add the flour, the sugar, a pinch of salt. And now I'm going to take our butter and add it in little clumps like this around the bowl. And once you've done that, what we're going to do next is work it through with our hands. Not my most favorite thing to do. If you have a food processor, you can put it all into there and just blitz it until it comes together and forms a dough. I do have one, but I'm not wanting to get it out and make a mess. This is supposed to be quick and easy. So I'm just going to get my hands in and just do the dirty work. So like when we make scones, it's just about putting your hands in and making like a crumb, but pulling it all together until a dough forms.
and we have our ball of dough which when you first start to put your hands in if you're doing it that way it looks like it will never come together you may think at one point you have to add more flour or butter but i would just say keep going it will eventually come together and it will just suddenly turn into a ball of dough so what we're going to do now is i've got this little cake tin and i'm going to put it into here and press it down until it's flat and then we'll bake it in the oven and that is it super simple and easy and a delicious treat so let's do it Well, thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that you've enjoyed this little episode. I will see you next time, but until then, have a really great weekend and a wonderful week ahead. Bye-bye.